Welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to be taking a look at this uh, little situation here we have on the Creality CR10. So one of the things is I've been printing more and more on this printer, and it's turned out to be really a good printer, um, is, is you can kind of see how this filament is coming in here, and also the strain, because I've got this spool over here to the side, and as it moves up and down, um, it rubs on this metal piece, and also put some strain on this cable. This cable also gets in the way. So one of the things I did is I turned to Thingiverse up there and I'll put it in the corner. So I got, uh, as you can see, that little piece, but here it is printed out. And uh, I also throw a bit of a time lapse up in the corner too. So what this is, is this has a, a filament guide in this section right here that kind of allows you to loop it through and then uh, runs through here and then this cable this little guy grabs onto this cable here and I'll show a little bit more of that now what it does is you have two little um, screws that hold this brass uh, nut in uh, backlash nut onto this Acme screw rod and what happens this sort of just pops over because it has these little brackets or not really brackets but lip in here that that mesh onto this piece so it just kind of really pops on here there's not really too much to it now it does take a little bit as I bump the tripod to get this to kind of pop on there uh, so it takes a little bit of force okay so we popped it on there uh, it takes a little bit to get it on I would suggest getting this front part in and then working to the back what happens is you have to kind of pop it over the screws let me see if I can just uh, I'll see if I can't put in a zoom in on the screws. Let me move this down a little bit um, so you can probably see it a little bit better. Uh, let me tilt the camera a little bit too. So there you go. So maybe you can see this a little bit better because you don't have to remove these screws. It just pops over top of them. Now I used Rigid, uh, Rigid Inks PLA Plus for this. Um, and I printed this at uh, uh, 0.1 millimeter. I wanted to get a lot of layers in, so it was really tough. It came out really nice. I did this on, actually on the Mono Price Mini, as you probably uh, saw or seeing up in the corner. I did it in the yellow, so it kind of matches. It's a little bit darker yellow, but that's cool. And you can kind of see here the fingers. Now, these aren't too robust, so this is one of the reasons I chose the Rigid Ink. Um, is they're pretty thin but it does look like it'll do the job and hold these I would have actually preferred and I, if I get time I'm going to do a little bit of a remix of this to have this be for a zip strip to kind of hold this but I think for right now this will be fine also um, you know you, you again lift the filament up and you can change it by putting it over so it comes out the end here so pretty nice design um, it does seem to, I, I like the idea, it does pull it away from this Acme screw, uh, this lead screw here. Um, so it makes it a little bit cleaner so it's not getting oil and rubbing on the screws it goes through. So really nice design. So far it uh, looks pretty good. Uh, I'll keep you guys posted on how it prints. I don't think it'd be an issue, but I think it'll be a, a good addition to the printer. So I'm definitely giving this one a thumbs up, so hopefully you will too. And uh, again, I'll have the link to this in the description below, so go ahead and check it out on Thingiverse. If you have one of these um, uh, Creality CR10s, I highly recommend this piece. And uh, hey, any questions, hit me up below. If you know of anything else cool for this printer, hey, also hit me up below. I'm always interested in newer, interesting things for the different printers. Um, I'd like to give them a shot, and I'll review them on the channel. So again... Cheers, we'll catch you in the next video. Please click like below and subscribe to the